and you can pretty much fill out the whole board like a grid. Hi guys, I hope you're doing well. Today I want to share with you a personal project uh, which is actually really close to my heart. I really truly wanted to share this with you because it's been inspired by my childhood. Now that I look back upon it, it brings back all my childhood memories um, growing up and it's been serving me beautifully. So right now we are in my craft room and if I switch on the light, you will see that it is a bit of a mess because I'm actually moving things around. I have never seen anything like this anywhere in my life, not on the internet. I think it's something that's now unique to me because only I have it. I've not seen anyone else own a thread organizer like this and it's also wall mounted so it's not going to take up any floor space or any shelf space in your home. So this thread organizer was inspired by small uh, haberdashery shops growing up in Pakistan where I grew up. Um, my mom used to sew all of my clothes and her own clothes along with my grandma's blouses and petticoats as well. And I remember so many times I used to go uh, to these small haberdashery shops with my mom. The sellers, the shop sellers used to store their threads in these little boxes. And in order to identify what's inside the box, they used to have a little elastic band tied around the box and a little thread reel used to sit within that elastic band. And that thread reel would show the shopkeeper what colored thread is inside that box. And in that way, they would know pretty much exactly where each and every thread is kept inside their little shop. And they would, amongst like hundreds of boxes, they would pick out the exact color we needed and hand it over to my mom. Welcome to Uni Crafts. If you are a crafter who owns a mini sewing machine, and if you like helping your planet, you've come to the right place because Uni Crafts is a craft and home improvement channel committed to donating a percentage of all ad revenue to charities of your choice. For more details, please click on the About section of Uni Crafts and check out the channel banner for all the charities that you have helped raise money for. So we are sitting on the floor of my craft room now. There is that uh, messy box, that's my radiator. And in front of my Billy Bouquets, I have set up this big board. It's an old piece of plywood that I covered in some old um, carpet insulation. I had a roll of carpet insulation uh, lying in our attic in my old house and I just tore off a piece of it and I covered the board with that. So let me show you the board on the back. There, can you see? It's just really, really cheap chip wood. This black fabric that you see, this velvety black fabric is actually fabric which is used on the underside of sofas. It's called a Velcro receptive upholstery fabric, okay? And I just got, I think, a meter's worth of it from eBay. Now on top of this fabric is this beautiful um, sewing themed cotton canvas fabric. And I bought this off of eBay, okay? It's a lovely thick fabric. You have seen me use it in earlier projects here. I stitched this fabric to this fabric using a straight stitch. So if I zoom in close, you will see there's the stitch line, okay? They're stitched down together. And then I top stitched it as well. So I top stitched it here to just to make it sit flat and make it look pretty. I simply stapled it. There, you'll see I turned it under twice and I simply stapled it down. So it's tacked down all the way. Here, you can see the staples very clearly here, okay? Now finally, to hang it up onto the wall, I um, screwed on these two little uh, picture hanging hooks or whatever you might call them. Okay, so two little screws and I used my spirit level to hang them up. Now let's see how this board will help you organize threads. Here in my hand is a little piece of plywood. This wood is about three to four millimeters thick. On the wood, there are these little holes. And on the back, you can see I have stuck two little Velcro dots. And this is the scratchy bit or the hook bit of Velcro. Well, now you can see these are Velcro hook spots stuck to the back of the wood. 
Now, I came up with this width size based upon my own calculations and then I created this design and I sent the design off to a laser cutting service online. I threaded some elastic cording through these holes. Now, let me show you what that looks like. So here's my pouch of elastic cording. It's super cheap. Um, you can find it on Amazon, on eBay, any haberdashery shops. And this is about, I think it's, um, what is this, three millimeters in dia, if that. And if I stretch it, it's got quite a bit of stretch. So once I had uh, installed the cording to that little board, this is what it looked like. If I flip it over, you can see this is where I tied the knot. And I literally just did a zigzag, zigzag in and out through these holes to create these loops. So I've got one loop, two loop, and third loop there. And on the back, that's what it looks like. The Velcro dots are to one end. And now if I mount threads onto it, there they are. You can see that's a set of Guterman threads sitting within the loops. Okay, that's the Velcro spots on the top. And this is one cassette that I can individually remove from my board. And if I take the thread out, it's as simple as that. And I can easily, even with one hand, just put it back in again, okay? Um, and now let me show you how we mount it to the board. So I'm literally gonna pick it up and stick it to the board. And it's sticking there. And you can pretty much fill out the whole board like a grid from top to bottom. Now you will see that this thread organizer actually has multiple purposes for me. I'm not just storing thread on there. Because these bands are elastic, they're so useful for so many things. Here I've got my little microphone that I usually use for recording. Today I'm not even using this. This is such a casual video. Uh, I've got my earphones there. I've got a little uh, glass cleaner or lens cleaning cloth there. And you know, I've also got like, if I buy like a store-bought applique, um, it can actually just stay there and not fall off um, because this black fabric is so beautifully receptive and I can just store things on there. I also sometimes stick Velcro dots to the back of um, little notices or laminated cards that I need to put up to remember certain things and I can stick those on there again. If you want to create this thread organizer for yourself, I'm actually going to share my own file that I sent to my woodcutter who uh, cut the wood for me, laser cut the wood for me. So you can literally just go online or even perhaps on eBay, find a laser wood cutting service and send them that file and they will cut out um, these wooden cassettes for you that you can then use to create your very own unique and very, very useful thread organizer at home. The only thing that now remains to be done is for me to mount this on the wall. And I'm going to do that and show you what that looks like.